You want it to be one way, but it's the other way. Straight off the launching pad, marching on the moon, motherfucker, I've been to Mars and back. Cleaner than laundry mats, jumping in something from other countries, companies, junkie, you cannot order that. I'm <laughs> ain't nowhere to at, straight off the launching pad. We can get to a better future. Look, I got more mouths to feed. So I'm ready to get busy. What's gonna be different this time? This time, I'm gonna have my brothers for me. What's going on, We're back in the low-key cave. Keyshawn Knives YouTube page, aka Mr. Low Key, and we are back with another TV show review. And we got Wu Tang and American Saga season two, the first three episodes review. Uh, I can't remember if when uh, Hulu released the last season of uh, Wu Tang and American Saga, did they release the first three episodes? I know they didn't release them all at once, but they might have did the same thing. Either way, I was happy when I seen three new episodes because I was even thinking about just one, if not two. But us getting three new episodes, I was all with it. Anyway, my oh man, y'all feel like this glare be coming out my glasses. But uh, we start back off with Bobby and Dennis, which is Rizzo and Ghostface, pretty much going to Ohio with uh, Bobby's family because of the events that happened at the end of uh, Wu Tang American Saga season one. And you know, Bobby has shot old boy, you know, and stole his records or whatnot. And I didn't even know that uh, Dennis had got his records back. And I don't think nobody did. So seeing him hand uh, Rizzo back all his records was like, yeah, man, that's what's up, bro. But I really like the relationship between Rizzo and, uh, well, Bobby and Dennis, Rizzo and Ghostface. But even going back to that first season, the development of the characters we getting, not just characters, bro. This is a rap group. Icon, I, iconic group as far as Wu Tang, the development of the Wu Tang group, and just seeing them that start and seeing RZA coming from "We Love You, Raheem" to what he's developing to now. Because once we get this season started, RZA, I mean Bobby, Dennis, they are completely pop, they are completely done with the music. They are basically into the streets or whatnot. Bobby's in Ohio and Dennis in Ohio, and they got a couple people out there and they doing what they doing on Ohio, and. One thing they get introduced to outside of being in New York, which I mean, hey, it's a lot of I, outside of being in New York is, you know, the guy that uh, Bobby shot in New York. He ain't snitch, but it's an incident that they get into. I mean, I think everybody pretty much done seen it. It did come out Wednesday, but they get into an incident with Bobby where the individual he gets into it with ends up going to the police, not the opposite. So. It's a lot that goes into this episode as far as Bobby transitioning into what he's thinking he's going to become instead of what he knows he's supposed to, his drive, what he's love, his love for is, which is music. We get back with the formula of our original characters, which is ODB, Method Man, Inspector Deck, and if you do not know, Joey Badass did not come back to play Inspector Deck. Joey Badass is doing uh, um, Unique. And raising Kane in Power Book Three, which I'm loving, and like I said, if he chose that over this, then I'm thinking he's gonna be in that a lot more. Which, like I said, I'm loving that role. I feel like Joey Badass feel like his role will be expanded more, and he'll have a more of an acting range in Power Book Three. But anyway, as far as Wu Tang and American Saga, the, uh, I think one of the reasons why it took me a time to get uh, more welcome to that first season is the character development. That's what's making me enjoy this season two a lot more because I'm, I'm prepared for these uh, people who are playing these people, especially Ghostface. I had to warm up to the guy playing Ghostface because I just not, did not see Ghostface in him at first. But going on and going on, and like I said, I watched uh, Showtimes of Mice and Men, the Wu-Tang documentary, and just seeing more of those before going into the season, it's like, okay, I'm liking this formula and whatnot. I'm liking the people they got playing them, especially, uh, damn, let me see. Hold on right quick, man. I'm sorry, y'all. I got to give him his recognition, man. My boy playing Bobby, uh, Ashton, San Ashton Sanders playing Bobby, playing Rizzo. Yo, killing it. He is killing it. His cool demeanor, the way he talk, the way he likes to take, a, um, I feel like the way he likes to take accountability for his actions. Not every, I mean, he making some mistakes, but it seems like he wants to take accountability. He don't want people coming in and like 
so I'm not showing them up, but coming in and trying to take care of them, make sure all, this is all good or whatnot. He got ability of wanting to run. <laughs> he do be want to get the hell out of Dodge, but I just feel like he has more of a will to face his problems. I mean, not face his problems because I just said he liked to run, but he has more of a way of not wanting people to come in and save him. I'm, I'm gonna say it like this. He has a way of not people wanting to come in to save him. He will run, but he don't like people trying to come in to save him as far as Bobby goes. One thing I want to say about Dave East, bro, playing Method Man. He sound more like Method Man this season than he did last season. Like, I'm all with it, bro. The, 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 like I said, the character development and uh, Dave East's acting range and what he's doing as far as his um, embodiment of Method Man is right there. I'm telling you, he starts a freestyle. He doing a freestyle in here like he does in the last season. But when he starts rapping and you hearing his voice, it's like he got more of a rugged voice. Like he took his voice tone down like Method Man. Because you know, if you ever heard Davies rap, which I heard a lot, I got a lot of Davies uh, music. He does not sound like Method Man. He has his own way and he has his own sound. But in this series, he's sounding like Method Man. He's embodying Method Man. His whole uh, move, his movement, Method Man's movement, the way he raps his sound, like I said, Dave East is killing it. And it's just the first three episodes. My boy ODB. <laughs> I feel like the guy playing ODB is the standout of the series, man. This is how I feel. I feel like he's the standout of the series, man. And um, the guy playing Raekwon, besides the weight, I feel like he killing it. He's embodying Raekwon, too. Besides, I feel like Raekwon was a little bit more heavy early on in the days of Wu-Tang. But besides all that, I feel like he's killing it. His movements, the way he rap and everything, I feel like he's embodying Raekwon, too. Overall, with these first three episodes, I'm definitely looking forward to the season, man. The development of RZA making the beats, the process of watching him make these beats, man, I'm telling you. And not only that, the way they take the martial arts movie and apply it to their lives, man. Dude playing Jizza, and you know Jizza, the way he's spitting his knowledge, the way he tries to... Um, put ODB up on things, but certain things just don't work out that way, and that's reality. I'm glad they put noticed that, because I'm thinking, they're not about to do some shit where it seems like, okay, this is going to actually work. Because I'm just saying, man, this is reality, He's, this, especially back in those days. Come on, man. <laughs> but overall, like I said, first three episodes, I'm enjoying it. I cannot wait to continue watching this. I'm hoping they're going to give us three episodes every Wednesday. I don't know, but just um, selling, just coming off of these first three episodes, as far as this being a season two, everybody's right on, right back on where they left off. Everybody, the whole crew or whatnot. We also getting used to you guys. I'm not sure we're gonna get used to um, get introduced to Capadon and them yet, but I know we're getting in, introduced to you guys and them. So I'm definitely looking forward to the rest of the season to see what's um, the process of working on 36 chambers, because that's basically what they're gonna be doing this season. So yeah, I'm ready for it. Y'all let me know in the comment section, though, how are y'all feeling about these first three episodes of Wu-Tang and America Saga Season 2? Are y'all looking forward to it as far as uh, the continuation of more episodes, man? How do y'all feel about the characters that's playing some of your favorite legendary rappers, man? Like I said, shout out to Ashton Sanders playing Bobby as far as RZA. Old boy Dennis, who playing Ghostface, he doing his thing, man. Dave East playing Method Man, my boy. Uh, I don't, I can't remember everybody's name, but I know my boy playing Raekwon. And not only that, we getting the development of their names too now. The way they starting to change their names and the process of how they got their names or whatnot, we getting that too. So I'm definitely looking forward to the rest of this season, man. Y'all let me know in the comment section how y'all feel about it. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. This is the road to 300 subs. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to let you know when I upload new videos, man. We out. Sure about the name Wu Tang? Yeah, that works.